Good thing I saved it. Okay. I'll just go ahead and show you guys the other way now. He's gonna hit me. I knew it. Uh, and he hit me. Let's see if I can get on this ledge. Nope. Let's watch a crunch. He has a rail gun on his bike. Oh, he's gonna kill me. I just died. It doesn't matter because I fell off the cliff. What's up, everybody? Badass Games, welcome back to Tomb Raider 2. Today we are in the Barkang Monastery, and here we go. We gotta fight some things. Uh, you may notice that there are two type of enemies as you, soon as you come out here. We got some guys with some guns, and we also got some monks. And uh, I got a lot of requests to save the monks, they had a lot of requests to kill the monks because I'm doing an all-kill run. Here's what I'm gonna do, guys, okay? I have respect for these guys, so I'm gonna let them live. They're nice. They will actually help you attack these guys mm -hmm. if you don't kill one. You'll, if you also don't shoot them a whole bunch of times, they'll, they won't they will go after you. But as soon as you kill one, or if you kill one, if mm -hmm. you shoot one too many times, they're gonna come after you. Now, these guys had some drops, so make sure you pick them up. In fact, if a monk kills one of these guys, then you can still pick up the item that they drop so you can allow the monks to get all the kills but here's what I'm gonna do guys I'm going for a n no kill on like what is it um all unfriendly kills and no monk deaths that's what I'm going for here okay and that's actually pretty difficult no monk deaths like that's difficult to do so we'll see exactly how that's done here okay so I'm gonna climb up this ladder okay because uh, these monks have a pretty crazy way of getting into their temple. I'm not sure uh, what's up with that. Up here there is a uh, eagle. Take him out with the automatic pistols because eh, that's probably the simplest way to get rid of them. It doesn't take a whole lot. It's automatic ammo. We're gonna we're probably gonna run out of either automatic ammo or Uzi ammo in this video. Uh, so that's pretty interesting too. But uh, there are a lot of enemies that we gotta take care of, especially if we're. I also want to try to get as many hits as possible. I need to help the monks. That's the uh, hard part because I want to get the kills and I want to, you know, kill the guys. I'm um so I'm taking the oath that I will use as much ammunition as possible. Um, and if the monk gets a kill, whatever. I know this is an all kills run, but uh, I kind of want to do it this way so that way I'm trying to illustrate the uh, effectiveness the effectiveness of these monks and how well they they work for you. So I climbed up here and I did a bunch of stuff. I killed some eagles. There are two of them flying around, or crows, or whatever you want to call them. Don't just leave me alone, guys. All right, leave me alone. Anyway, we want to jump through this window. I'm not sure what's up with that. Like, how do they? Why do they normally just come up through here and jump through the window? They got to replace every day. Doesn't make any sense, people. Okay, we come through here. We'll kind of find some more monks. Now we got to be careful because right here is the way we want to go where that monk went. But as soon as we stand on this tile right here, we're going to spawn another dude over here. So we can take him out. I don't want to follow him into that room unless you want to fight another guy. If you go out there, he's going to come through the window. I'm going to save all that for later. That guy did drop something, but I'm going to save that for later as well. The only way that we can go right now effectively is this direction right here and we're gonna get a couple of items if we go this direction a couple things that we need now the whole premise of the barking monastery is we need to find five of the prayer wheels and put them in the receptacle so we can go down and finish the job or fix the job that brother Chen Barkang was talking about he said that there was some sort of monster that uh, couldn't be soothed by any amount of head bowing or something to that effect. So we're going to go do the head bowing for them. Okay, when we come up here, there's a monk right here as well. And also, there is a key right here. Uh -huh. This key is going to let us into the main hall. That's The main hall is where we're at right now, but we're in the upper level. You can't necessarily make it down to the bottom. Uh, look at this place. This is awesome. Like This is definitely one of my favorite levels in Tomb Raider. I definitely love this level, so I'm going to show you how to get through this pretty much as effectively as possible. Now if you're going through an, for an all kills run, you definitely want to kill this monk right here, and you'll see why later. The reason why, I'll just go ahead and tell you, is that there's going to be a guy that spawns up here after a particular action, and you will not be able to make it back here in time before that monk kills him. So just so you know that that's, that might happen. So I am going to miss out on that kill because I didn't kill the monk. But we'll see. Um, we'll see. I just want to show... That's another reason why I wanted to show you the non-monk thing as well. I don't want to kill the monks. Because I kind of want to show you that as well. When we come out here, we got a couple boulder traps. Uh -huh. This one, do not pick up the flares until you spawn the boulder. Once you do that, continue on up this ramp. 
and we're going to go into a pool. You can hear the water rushing right now. Now the quickest way to get through this is to swim along the edge like this, okay, and kind of let it pull you. Now the water's pulling me toward the center, but you can easily make your way in there. Now I kind of want to illustrate a point here. If you get sucked down, okay, you can still get out of this. You just got to fight. Make sure that you aren't angled in any way. You just want to straight go you just want to straighten Laura out and go straight up and in this direction it's the quickest way to get out of this it does kind of suck <laughs> you see what I did there so uh, good luck to you you can get through there it makes it a little difficult with all the water flowing so you'll be able to get through that I'm sure okay now we want to fall down you don't need to grab the ledge this is a long fall light a flare it's dark and we're gonna come into an area where we'll find one of our favorite objects in the Tomb Raider series. The Clang Clang Doors. Yeah, they're not going anywhere in the series, people. They're right here. A couple more. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I thought I was dead. I lied to you guys. I'm sorry. I'll take that back. You guys hate me now. Okay, just avoid them. You can also stand in front of them, wait for them to open, and press the roll button to effectively get through them. But if you run, you still can do it too. It's a lot more difficult to run, though, so I recommend rolling if that's what you want to do. Okay, we find another nut. Okay, we find another ladder. Let's climb to the top of this thing. There's going to be another monk up here, and there's also going to be a, another bad guy that we want to spawn. Now we got to be careful because we don't want to shoot the monk. Let's take out the automatic pistols. Actually, I'm going to use the Uzis. I'm going to save those automatics for later. Uzis are a little bit quicker, in my opinion. Okay, I'm not trying to shoot at him, but I do want to point the gun. Now, the guy is right here. Oh, I spawned the other guy. That's not good. I'll try to explain this a little more. So, as soon as I came into this tile that I'm standing on right now, I spawned that other guy. And you can prevent that spawning if you just don't go in there. Um, but you need to go in there. I usually wait until this guy is dead to prevent confusion and uh -huh. prevent a little bit of damage. But that wasn't the case. This guy didn't drop anything, so don't worry about him. Okay, Mr. Monk. I gotta go take care of some business. It's dark in here as well, so light a flare. It's about to get light in here. Got some creepy music. Dun 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 dun. All right, let's pick up the prayer wheel, okay? So right now we have how many prayer wheels? This is our only prayer wheel, and we have the main hall key, and we also have the seraph. Okay, now by picking up the prayer wheel, we did a couple things. First of all, we lit the, the braziers here, and in order to get through this, what I do is stand back here, do a running jump over the first brazier, do a standing jump over the second brazier, and you will avoid any damage, and it's awesome. Now the second thing you did when you picked up the prayer wheel is you spawned the bad guy on the second level of the main hall, and that monk is deal dealing with him right now if he's not already dealt with. I don't have seen um, the bad guy actually kill the monk yet, so usually the monk wins that fight. Okay, to get out of here, we now need to move some of these boxes out of the way that are blocking our path. This is going to take us back to the same way. If you remember when I went through the boulder traps and I picked up the flares and I went up and into the pool, you could have went the other way and you would have been on the other side of these blocks, but you wouldn't have been able to move them because of the configuration they were in. Well, we got that out of the configuration while we are here, and we can move it out of the way. Now, like I said, you spawn that bad guy after you pick up the prayer wheel. You could probably move the boxes and try to get there as fast as you possibly can, and I did try that, and it didn't work. This guy was always dead each time I came back there. So, like I said, if you're going for an all-kills run, then you definitely want to kill that monk up on top. It makes sense. I mean, you're going to probably do it anyway. <laughs> uh, but then, uh, just remember, you'll have that other guy, the gun guy that you'll have this time around as you go back. I'm pretty sure they expected you to kill a lot of bugs. I have a lot of audio issues in this level and some frame drop issues too. I was quite surprised. Um, the system's pretty good. I must be like the frame rate just isn't working properly or whatever. But anyway, we're going back the same way we came essentially now. Okay, we'll find the corpse of that guy right there. So that's another missed kill, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm sort of putting the all kills run on hold here because, you know, I like these guys. I don't want to kill them, man. They're so... So nice. Okay, so we fell down. And now we are going into the main hall. We got the main hall key. We don't want to go that direction yet. We are going to go that direction soon. But we want to come here and use the main hall key. This is going to open the door to the main hall, clearly. Okay, now in here I'm actually going to save my game. Because we're about to fight a couple of bad guys and a few things terrible that 
uh, can happen while doing this. First of all, you might shoot a monk. Second of all, you might take a lot of damage. So, oh, I just hit the load game. See, I'm good at that. But I learned my lesson, guys. Upper house, I've learned my lesson since then. Let's save this thing. Now, I kind of want to give you a little strategy also on how to target the uh, bad guys. Okay, so in order to spawn these bad guys, I'm going to run for this little thing right here. I'm going to jump a turn. Might as well jump a turn, right? And then I'm going to pull out some weapons, like the Uzis, and I'm going to go after these guys. I already had them selected. Don't shoot the monks. Okay, shoot this guy. Yes. Now, you know if you're targeting a monk whenever... or you're, you know you're targeting a bad guy whenever they are closest to you. You, Larkrog targets the closest enemy. So whenever a bad guy goes through the doorway or something, or goes through another one of the monks, then you know that you have lock on them. Uh -huh. Keep that in mind because it makes it a lot easier to target these guys when you're trying to do a uh, friendly, unfriendly only hill run or whatever. Uh -huh. I don't know exactly what to call that just yet. All of these guys drop something, so make sure that you visit their corpses and pick up whatever, whatever the heck they dropped. This monk will- whoa! These monks are terribly awesome. They're making me levitate. You can tell they're powerful. See, I'm glad I didn't mess with these guys. Alright, so, large med back. All these guys uh -huh. drop something. Thank you very much. Okay. I'm glad I got through that. Now I'm gonna go with this direction. I'm gonna go and grab a key that we can use in another section that we were previously at. Okay, you may have explored in that area where I said there was a window where a guy would come through. You'd also see a keyhole. The key is in this direction. Be careful of the blades. And let's go into this room right here to the left from the hallway. We will pick up uh -huh. the strong room key. We're going to go in the strong room right now, actually. There's nothing down the hallway that direction. And hopefully he doesn't push me that direction. So don't go over there. It's just another blade. you got to jump. Two of them, actually. So more potential for damage that way. And there's nothing down there. There is a room, it does lead you to a room that we'll be at later, so that's kind of cool. But we're not going to go there just yet. We're going to go and use the strong, oh, oh, I usually hit my head on these banners. I'm going to use the stronghold key, strong room key, back here where I summon to fight these, this guy that's going through the window. Now the guy's going to come through the window, I'm going to let that happen. I'm just going to kind of jump over here. Don't hit the table, otherwise you'll probably uh, stop and this guy will get a lot of shots off on you. Oh, he's getting a lot of shots off on me anyway. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I am out of Uzi ammo. Like I uh -huh. said, I knew I was going to run out of some of that stuff. This guy dropped some automatic ammo, and outside the window where he came from, uh -huh. you'll find some grenades. Okay. Grenades are awesome. Let's use the strong room key right here. Going to open up this door that's next to you, which is awesome. And this is one of those examples, a key to get a key, exactly what it is. We got a key so we can grab a key, <laughs> literally. Okay, now this is a different key, of course, and it's going to do something different. I hit my head on this freaking paper, paper ceiling decoration. Uh, I never picked this stuff up, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, now let's go use this other key. This other key is actually the rooftop key, and we want to go this way now because we have the key that's going to open up the door at the other end of this thing. Careful of these wheels, just time your way through that and you'll find the keyhole just past them. Let's use a rooftops key and go on the rooftops. We're gonna have some fun up there. Alright, up the steps, we'll be on the rooftops. Pretty cool area, I like this area a lot. It's very beautiful, it's a nice day out. Got some llamas there, llama statues. Pull this switch to put those braziers out. It'll make it a lot easier getting through that without taking any damage. I don't think they're timed. Uh, I could be wrong about that. I'm pretty sure they're not, so um, let's get through this well, however possibly we can. Let's do standing jumps, and every once in a while I'll take a step forward. You should be able to get through that pretty easily. The decorations do kind of stop you, so that's kind of annoying. Now I'm going to take out my grenade launcher, blow some people up. Alright, because what's going to happen as soon as I come over here, we're going to spawn two bad guys and two monks behind where I'm facing right now. But it also... Oh, there he is. Okay, I try to get one shot off of him with the grenade launcher. I'm not sure if it was if I landed, but... Now i got to try to kill this guy without killing... Oh, they got the kill. Fine, fine. At least I'm trying, guys. At least I'm trying. Please, cut me some slack. You know, I don't want to... I don't want to let, make these guys think that I'm a bad person. Okay, so that both of those guys dropped something. Let's go ahead and pull the switch. By the way, I didn't mention none of the monks drop anything, so it's kind of worthless to kill them. Sort of a waste of ammo, and um, yeah, just let them be, man. 
Alright, so this part kind of blows that you have to actually shoot out the windows here. You can't jump through uh -huh. them. But we're going to get some gemstones. Two of them. We need both of these, of uh -huh. course. So make sure you grab both of them. Now this is the room that you would have went into if you would have went down the hallway with the blades cutting at your knees. In fact, there's the blades right there. They're not activated, but yes, this is that room. Okay, let's go over here, pull this switch. This is going to give us our access out of here, just above us. This level is actually pretty straightforward, with the exception of it not being straightforward at all. <laughs> like the prayer wheels, there's five of them. They're spread out throughout the entire temple. And it makes it all really fun. We're going to get another one here quite quickly, too. Alright, so we're all the way up here at the top. Let's use a gemstone in this slot right here. We're only going to use one. The, the second gemstone is going to go somewhere else uh, later. So it's not like something we need to use, you know, in two... Not two gemstones we need to use in the same area. All the prayer wheels are all going to go into the same area, and I'll be sure to show you that at the end of the level. <laughs> of course. All right, find the box, pull it out twice, and we will uncover the next prayer wheel. Easy, easily just hop, take a hop back, take a standing jump on top of the box, and find your prayer wheel. I believe this is prayer wheel number uh -huh. two. I've been talking a lot, really haven't been keeping track. Yeah, prayer wheel number two. Okay, let's go back. All right, we're done with the rooftops. We're able to go into the main hall and finish off all the stuff that we need to do in there. Alright guys, I realized while I was editing that I actually forgot this item. I'm surprised I did. You gotta climb up here after you kill all of these guys. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna splice this into the video. Of course, it's gonna be seamless for you guys almost. And right here are some M16 clips. Do not forget these and... Uh -huh. Alright, let's get back to this game. But before I do that... Okay, just make your standing jumps over these braziers. Look like I got myself lined up just right to make my way through that. That's awesome. That's awesome. Konnichiwa, sir. Okay, so, another blade trap. You saw this one before. Okay, let's make sure I don't get my boobs cut off here. We don't want that. We need those things. Oh, I just hit my head on the paper. I always do that stuff, man. Excuse me, sir. I didn't mean to bother you, but I'm on my way. I'm on a mission. Okay, uh, one of the things that I'm gonna do... Oh, why did you... I thought he was gonna attack me for a second. Okay, when I come through this door, I know I approached this door earlier and I never went through it. I did that for a reason, just to spawn those one guys. So, um, now that I'm here, I'm gonna climb to the top. I'm gonna use the gemstone. This, the second gemstone is going to come up here. Now, there's no other thing up here except for the gemstones, but this is awesome. This is going to put us on top of the statue in the main hall. Do a running jump from here. Grab this ledge. That ledge is like perfect distance for a running jump, so make sure you line that one up. Otherwise, you probably won't make it. All right, let's walk to this edge. You don't need to run and jump and grab this next ledge, just simply run over it and jump. Don't If you grab, then you will actually grab the ledge and it takes a lot longer, so just don't grab. Alright, how about a handstand? I haven't done one of those in a while. So pretty. I do appreciate the speed at which Lara Croft does her handstands in the Crystal Dynamics Tomb Raider games. It makes it a lot more smoother, and it makes it somewhat awesomer to do it. Okay, so let's walk to the edge here. Don't fall off, you'll die. Just do a standing jump, you'll land on this statue's hand. And now let's go down to its shoulder, okay? Uh, just underneath its head, hop backwards and you'll slide down off of this thing. Now what putting the gemstone into the slot did is it opened up a trapdoor that's underneath the statue. And we'll go there eventually. But what I want to do is go this way first, because if we go that way, we'll hinder something that we don't want to hinder. And I'll show you what that is here soon. Okay, we're going to go all the way to the end of this hallway. Be careful. Okay, there's a couple of monks here. Um, we're going to need our guns out, because as soon as we reach this point right here, we're going to spawn some shooters. Okay, remember, Lara targets the person closest to you. Oh, I lost a monk. That's... Oh crap, I think I'm being attacked now. Yeah, they're attacking me, so I gotta... Uh, I, I did terrible here, so... 
Let's just let them get their vengeance. All right, guys, I'll see you back at a spot. All right, guys, I just came down off of the statue after putting in the gemstone, and uh, I decided that I'd do this now because there is a secret right behind this thing that I wanted to grab. Uh, you can get this at pretty much at any time, but I figure I might as well just do it now. Here I am. Let's go ahead and grab the gold dragon right here. Uh -huh. We're about to get pretty much all of the secrets back to back here, so I might as well grab this one now. All right, so we got the gold dragon. We're about to get the silver and I'm sorry, the stone. Don't don't hate me, guys. Don't hate me. And the jade dragon here very very soon. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up this direction. Remember, we're about to spawn those guys. This is where I almost died last time, so be extremely careful. No, I actually I did die. I let a monk die too, and I feel bad for that. There's just so many of them around. Like I don't even think I'm gonna be able to attack this these guys. So I'll change my mind. I think I'll um, actually go this direction for now and take care of this passageway first because I mean it just seems like there's just too many monks around now if you come into this room you'll notice a bunch of boxes around in here and there are a couple that you can move including this one I want to pull this one out this direction we don't want to block ourselves from the doorway that's a magical monk did you see that oh my gosh I don't know how the heck he did that but I wish that they would teach Lara Croft that stuff I just let a flare I don't know why I did that but whatever let's push this box up against the wall this direction and you'll see what good this will do here in a second what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this box out this is nothing that you are required to do by the way I'm doing this to get some items okay there are two items hidden amongst these movable boxes I just moved the box away from one of those items to pick up and now what we want to do is we want to move this box to block the doorway this is gonna give us the ability to move the movable box that's up above because there's an item underneath it. Alright, let me pick up these automatic uh -huh. clips. And then let's jump up here and move this box out once. And then that's going to uncover the other item that we need to grab. That we don't need to grab, but we're doing all items here. I'm trying to do a walkthrough for you guys. So here is some harpoons. Uh -huh. Let's grab this and now let's continue on through here. Uh, let's... Yeah, I'm I'm kind of torn whether or not I want to try to do this thing or not. There's just so many monks around right now that I don't want any of them to get hurt. Poor guys. All right, so what I'll do is I'll move the box out of the way, and then I'm going to go into this hallway. Uh, I th should use my Uzis. I think I've got plenty of ammo for that. Yeah, I should be fine. There's two guys that shoot out here. There's still a bunch of monks around, but there's not as many as there was before, so... Awesome, I got a lock on one of them immediately. Oh god, I got him. Yes, there we go. Sweetness, let's pick up some stuff here. Both of these guys drop stuff, uh -huh. so make sure you grab them. We got the Uzi clips, and we also have grenades. Uh -huh. Yay, now let's go over here. I recommend you save your game. I highly recommend you save your game once you stand on this tile right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. I did a stream with, some, with a friend one time. Uh, one of my uh, Patreon supporters, and they called these spiky potatoes, and I thought that was hilarious, so that's what they're called, guys. They're spiky potatoes. All right, guys, so the tile that I'm standing on right now is a timer tile. It extinguishes the flame that's directly in front of Lara, and don't wait on the, the tile that had the flame, because if you wait on that tile, then you will catch on fire if you don't take if you take too long. We're going to wait for the spiky potato on the left side to swing and be like almost directly in my face and then run off. It's really easy to get hit by that and uh, I'm surprised I didn't get hit actually. So <laughs> we're going to try this again sort of in this other next part. So be careful here. I'm going to jump up. I'm going to turn around. Try not to get hit by this uh, any of this stuff. Oh yeah. I, this, this is the towel that I want to be on anyway. So just you can just hop up from here. I don't understand why I just didn't do that. But whatever. We're going to be on the left side. We're going to watch that rolling blade, the left spiky potato. We want the left spiky potato to be flying away from us and halfway through its path to the other side while, when we jump. We actually want to wait until it starts swinging back the other way. So right now is what I want. And then we should be able to make it without getting hit. I'm actually better at getting through that spiky potato than this one. So, All right, so the rolling blade up above, we want to try to dodge this. Okay, because back here, we're going to find some clang clang doors. Oh my gosh, why do these things have to annoy me everywhere I go? No, but seriously, back here is the Jade Dragon, okay? We already got the Gold Dragon. We got that one just before we came back here. Let's pick up this Jade Dragon and carefully make our way out of here. 
Um, by carefully, I mean just die. I'll see you guys back in the spot. All right, guys, I'm back to the spot. I got through this, the um, got through the clang clang doors. Now we gotta avoid the rolling blade. All right, I finally made it through that last teeth gate, and very ungracefully, we gotta get through this spiky rolling blade. And as soon as we get past this, we'll be safe, we'll be out of the gauntlet, and we'll find a trapdoor key. Mm -hmm. So let's grab this. And now, what we're going to do is slide off and into some water over here, okay? Now, if I would have went underneath the statue before I came this direction, then I would have drained this water and I would not have been able to do this. And this is a small little crawl space that I can swim through. And we'll find the stone dragon in the final secret of the level. We get a bunch of M16 ammo. Thank you very much, Mr. Stony. We are going to find the exit, which is over here. And you may notice a movable block over there in the distance. That's the whole reason for draining this. We need to move that out of the way. There's a prayer wheel behind that. So, uh, we're not going to do that just yet. We just got the trap door key. And now I still need to go in this direction. This is the direction that I didn't go before because I was afraid of all the monks and I wanted to get those bad guys out of the way. So now let's go this direction this time. Uh, this part is actually kind of difficult on the way back because... I'll make sure you jump over that gap, by the way. <laughs> That's a trap door and you'll pretty much fall and take a lot of damage. Okay, I'll, I'll explain what I was talking about in a second. I want to run up to the left side of this platform to avoid getting shot at. Shoot the window out and then... Oh, dude, well, I should have... Whatever, let's just go. Yeah, I should have grabbed the ledge. I don't know why I didn't. Now, these monks are going to go crazy because basically their AI is telling them that there is guys in the same level that they can access, but the door's shut, so they really technically can't access them. And so they're just going to sit here and scream at us the entire time we're climbing this ladder to the top. All right, now, in order to do the ladder, you basically just make sure your hands are lined up with the platform that you're supposed to jump off to, and then just do a press a jump button to do a backflip onto the platform. All right, unfortunately, this is kind of a lengthy thing I just fell off. Oh my gosh. I'm actually playing a terrible game today. Uh, unfortunately, this is a long climb, and I'm going to do this ladder twice. But fortunately, I have some comments ready for this. We have a comment here from Taylor Dennis, who says, Yay, I'm so happy the boat and shipwreck levels, to me, are the most boring part of the game. And I just kind of went, what? No way, those are my favorite levels. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I like the, the those levels, so... <laughs> That's fine, though. You're you're entitled to your opinion. I actually like this level a lot, too, in the Temple of Xi'an. Those are some of the best levels in this game, so um, I won't deny that. All right, so finally I made it to the top here, and there is one of the prayer wheels we need. Uh -huh. So now we have, what, two, three? We have three prayer wheels. Sorry, I lost count. And now we need to get down, but we got to be careful. So what I'll do is put my back to the ledge, tap backwards, and hold the action button, and she'll grab that ledge. I'm lighting a flare. That's ballsy, isn't it? All right, let's do that again. We can do that each time. Uh, on the last one, if you want to save a sliver of life, then you can use the ladder if you want. Uh, and I might as well do that. It's just a small sliver if you do it the same way I was doing. But this will save just a tad bit of life. Whatever. And now we're going to go deal with some dudes. Hopefully uh, these monks won't get in the way because I'm going to try to use the grenade launcher. And the grenade launcher, um, yeah, kills monks in one shot. Okay, They'll, they're going to take care of that guy. I used a... I'll take care of these guys. Oh, you, he used an extra one. I'm just... Wow. I'm dead. All right, guys, I'll see you back at this spot. All right, guys, I made it back to the spot. I'm opening the door now. I want to kill these guys. Uh, I'm thinking about using the M16, but that requires me to keep running. It's really difficult to get a lock on if you don't, so... Well, I have a lock on this guy, so I might as well take him out. Oh, the... The monks will help me out. Oh, gosh, I spawned another guy. So, uh, let's use the Uzis. Because I really don't, I don't feel safe using the M16, and I don't feel safe using the uh, grenade launcher, because I don't want to kill a monk, you know what I'm saying? Oh well, looks like I'm going to have to do that anyway. I got a lock on this guy, so I'm good on that. One more dude. Oh, dude, 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 oh no! I can't get a lock. And they got the kill. Oh well, 
Whatever, screw it. It's really difficult to actually get the kill on these guys when you're trying to save all the monks. So, um, yeah, they'll get the kill every once in a while. It's something you're going to have to live with. Uh -huh. You could probably do it where, you know, you do land all the kills uh -huh. on all the unfriendly guys, with the exception of the one that's up on top of that second level in the main hall. But, um, you know, uh -huh. that, that would just take some extreme good, extremely good luck. So I'm not going to be worrying about that because I have extremely bad luck. So... We're not going to do that. I could have done the whole, I'll, you know, kill all the monks, but man, you know, the, the the idea here is to show you that these guys are good, and they're good until the very end, and you can actually use them to your advantage. Okay, so, hop over that gap, and there's some more monks walking around over here, that's cool. Sup, guy? Bumblebee Tuna. And now we have the trapdoor key. We got that in the last quarter that we went through. And now we're ready to use that. We also use the uh, big gem. See, there's some glitchy monks over there. Um, we used the gemstone in order to open the trapdoor underneath the statue, but we haven't gone that way yet. I want to go this way first. Uh, use the trapdoor key right here on this keyhole. It'll open the trapdoor. And this is going to give us access to the other side of the door that was on the left side. Now I'm going to go ahead and go through this. And I'm going to go back into the monastery because there's some guys there right now. And I want to try to get as much shots on them as possible for the, um, you know, just for, you know, make up a little bit for not trying to get to kill the monks. And, uh, yeah. So, oh gosh, he's going to shoot me up. I can't get a lot. Oh, there we go. Got him. Don't kill a monk, sir, please. We would hate you for that. Okay, uh, these guys don't drop anything, it seems. So, I believe we are ready to go. Yeah, I think these guys were meant to be killed by those guys, but... Or maybe they were meant to also kill a few monks, but whatever, you know. They don't drop anything, so just leave them be. Alright, now we're gonna come out into this outdoor area. It's a very, uh, canyon -y area. I bet Lara's still cold. That's why she's wearing her jacket, but why is she wearing shorts then? I don't understand that. I guess because it's kind of sexy, but whatever. Now, when we come into this section, we're going to find this opening where we're going to find this ladder that we can use to climb to the top. Lara's doing a lot of climbing in this level. She's got some strong legs by the end of this episode. All right, in order to get off of this ladder, you need to go to the left. All right, you can't jump backwards. You'll just fall down and probably take a lot of damage, so avoid that. Uh, I want to use... I have these selected already, don't I? Yeah, I do. It's kind of hard to remember which weapons I have selected since I'm constantly switching in between them. Uh, I've lost a lot of life, I'm surprised. All right, let's take these, uh, this crow out, and now let's use the M16 to take care of a guy that's going to spawn at the other end as soon as I stand on this tile. Light him up as soon as you see him. Good, he didn't get any shots off on me. I'm happy about that. He drops M16 ammo as if he was meant to have the M16 used on him. Mm -hmm. Okay, come into this section, we'll use the automatic ammo. When you walk out here, don't shoot the monk, of course. We want to make sure she's aiming for these crow eagles that are flying around in the air. Remember, she'll target the closest enemy that's directly in front of her, or somewhat in front of her. Okay, what's there down? We'll find this platform right here that we can use to run and jump up to this tile right here. And then turn and we want to jump over to this building roof okay now let's fall through we're going to find another prayer wheel in here uh -huh. all right i believe this is four prayer wheels total so far we have one more left we need to go underneath the statue to get that one i was pull this lever and as soon as we get on the tile right there in front of the door we're going to spawn a dude outside and I'm gonna get my Uzis ready and light them up. Nope, wrong guy. Wrong guy. There we go. Hope he doesn't hate me now. Good, he doesn't hate me. Thanks. I'm glad that you are a little tolerant there, man. All right. Um, now these uh -huh. shotgun shells landed on a slope. What I did to grab them is like pretty much jump to land directly on them. And while I was in the air, I held the action button all the way until I landed on them, and then um, she picked them up. So if that happens to you, you can use that tool to pick it up. Now let's make our way back 
to the monastery. There are uh, some guys, there's some shooters that have spawned down there, and we need to get down there in order to get in on the action. Okay, we don't want any of these monks to die. Oh my gosh. We don't want Lara Croft to die either. Did you know that? Alright guys, I'll see you back at this spot. Alright guys, I made it down the ladder safely as you can see. Thank goodness. Um, I promise you that I killed everybody you try as, much, as best as I possibly could using weapons and stuff. I haven't killed a monk, so they're all still alive. And um, we're trying to get down before this becomes an issue. There's a battle going on. I hope I can make it in time. I'm going to try to use my M16. Because that's really powerful for here, and you're usually at a far enough distance away anyway. So let's see how this well this works. Oh no, they're not around. I think a battle already went down. Oh, there's going down right now. I can't get a target on this guy. Alright, well, they dealt with him. It doesn't look like they killed a monk, so I believe I'm still good on that uh, friendly, you know, the monk stay alive thing. And that's cool. Now, we are going to go underneath the statue now and get the last prayer wheel, basically. Okay, we're, it basically takes us back to the area where the pool was. Uh, this time we're going to drain it. And we're going to move that movable box that was in the water. After you go through that corridor, you pull yourself up. You'll find a switch along the wall, and it's going to open up the door behind you. So turn around, and then you'll make your way into this section where you'll find a movable box and a waterfall. Now, this is what's going to shut off the waterfall. I don't even know how this works. Like, what's up with this? Like, you move a block in path of water and it just automatically stops water flow? Like, wouldn't the water flow on top of the box or through it or something? <laughs> but yeah, anyway, and it drained the pool immediately. That's also something pretty amazing. You can slide off that backwards and grab the ledge if you want to. Um, I wasn't even thinking about it, so I didn't do it. So, yeah, anyway, here's that movable box. Let's move it out of the way and claim our last prayer wheel. We are almost ready to end this level, ladies and gentlemen. So let's grab this thing and make our way back. Mm -hmm. You hear that stuff? That's my audio issue. I don't know what's up with that, but I think it's just this level. I hope that the rest of the game isn't that bad. I'm not sure if that's just a PlayStation 1 thing, or this was the first release of the PlayStation, uh, of the, I mean, of the Tomb Raider game. So, um, maybe the, uh, maybe they fixed that bug in a future PlayStation release. Uh, or, I'm not sure if it's even on the PC, but, yeah. Just so you guys know it, I'm having that issue. Okay, now we're making our way back to the main hall. We went through here before. This is where we fought those two guys, and I died a long time ago, all that stuff. You know what I'm saying. And we go pretty much to the other side of the statue. That's where the prayer wheels go. Now, before I go do that, I have a comment here that was posted on my last on my last Tomb Raider series, Tomb Raider 2 series, the, the one that would happen two years ago. Okay, and it was from Kirk O'Kane. He says, you know what's real fun is trying to let as many monks as possible survive. Then near the end of the level, go back to the main hall and kill a monk and watch the oncoming slot that are the bonking monks. So if you thought I wasn't going to get all kills, then yeah, <laughs> psych. All right, so it's time for the onslaught. Yeah, I'm just gonna use the grenade launcher because I these guys are tough, man. They come from all directions too. I'm just gonna pop some monks up. Pop, just pop them all. I mean, they don't take. It just takes one grenade to do it. Look at all these guys. I'm taking you out of your misery. Oh, I hear another one. Hear him so there's one up above too, by the way. All right. Okay, now I know of a few other monks that are still around in this temple, so I'm gonna just skip to those guys for you guys, so that way you don't have to sit here and watch me go to them. So I'll see you guys at all of those spots. All right, so you can break through this window too. Might as well. They're not gonna have any monks left to replace it though. So now we gotta get down here safely. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna be the hard part. It's actually not too hard. If you Get right here, and then you shimmy over to the right. You can easily get back down out of here in order to deal with the monks. And three. Uh. 
Bumblebee tuna, sir. All right, we got another one that I need to go get that's up here, too. So I'll see you guys over there at that guy. Now, this guy's going to come around that corner, too. And then he's going to poof, and we're going to make our way back to some more monks. Brother Chen Bar Kang would be proud of us. Konichiwa! Alright, we just proved every single monk in this monastery, so I hope you guys don't hate me too much. <laughs> oh, so either you hate me for not killing all the monks or you hate me for killing all the monks. I don't know. You make up your mind, alright guys? We are now done with this level legitimately. Everything's dead. We have all the items, we have all the prayer wheels ready to put them in the receptacle and end this level. So what we need to do is go to the other side of this statue, like I told you before I began the slaughter. And we will find the area where we place all of the prayer wheels. It doesn't matter in what order you put them in. Okay, you put them in whatever order you want. There's two on the left side, and there's two on the right s or three on the right side. I'm sorry, I can't count today. I forgot my basic math. So let's go and put all these in. Just two more here. And while I'm doing this, I got another comment from Emily Honey Munchkin, who says, Wow, I'm pretty sure she killed all the last snow leopards um, in the wild in the last level. She's referring to the last level, by the way. And uh, then again, she killed. I killed Lara just as many times, so it's even. <laughs> That's true. Not so much in this level, though. All the monks, yeah, I didn't die that many times. So, in your face, Emily. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, so we placed all of the prayer wheels, and now let's go up and use the Seraph on this receptacle to end the level. Now that that's done, got the door that opens, and let's go through here and officially end this level. Ladies and gentlemen, I took a lot longer than I than you probably will because I went back through and killed all the monks. But I didn't use a health pack, I got all the secrets, so I will see you guys in the next level on Badass Games. Take it easy.